So update 36 for Lord of the Rings Online just went live today. And I'm patching right now. I just got up from my nap. I'm patching and I'm reading through these patch notes. And I'm like, this is a pretty awesome patch for story and for a couple of other reasons, which I want to dive in to with you today. So if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos around Lord of the Rings Online, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning visitor, Welcome back. You know the routine. Let's dive in here. Release notes for update 36, Gondor Renewed, uh, released on Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. Um, this went live earlier today. Um, servers were down all day. Like I said, I'm currently patching up. Here are the release notes. It says, a new story begins in a renewed King's Gondor. And I have to say, this is one of the first times in a very long time I have felt like, oh, I need to hurry up and get a character to the cap. Because I don't, despite the fact that I've played this game since it launched, I don't have a character at the cap. I always get sidetracked. There's so much to do in this game, like with role-playing and additional opportunities. My highest character is like 102 or 103. So it sounds like I really need to focus on my lore master and getting him to the cap because... Um, I want to partake in this story that's getting ready to drop, or it just did drop. So a new story debuts with Gondor renewed. Um, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, after the defeat of Sauron, King Elisar and Queen Arwen seek to bring peace to their kingdom, but the danger is not gone, and new foes seek to threaten Gondor. Adventure awaits in the new zone of King's Gondor East, set after the War of the Ring, when fresh breezes have dispersed the fumes of the dawnless day and allowed the sun to shine again. Discover the beginning of a new epic style storyline called the Song of Waves and Wind, and team up with Legolas Gimli and friends both old and new to investigate the continuing threat of the heirs of Castamere. Um, which is ironic because I was actually just doing some of the quests with my lore master about the Castamere stuff. It was really cool. And then I went back and read in the appendices a couple of weeks ago, and because of Mondays in Middle Earth, I was just doing the whole, you know, the story of Arwen and, and, and Aragorn sort of after, you know, the War of the Ring. And it was a very emotional chapter, and there's a lot in there. Um, about Aragorn and his youth and, and, oh man, crazy stuff. And then the chapter before that, we were talking about when he came and fought for Gondor and other guys. I just, I could go on. Great stuff happening in all things Middle Earth. It says, uh, the new story, A Song of Ways of Wind, debuts with Gondor Renewed. It's called Song of Ways of Whims for characters level 140. The chapter is started by speaking to Glendor in Minas Tirith, a Midsummer. I says this new story is available to anyone who has VIP or purchases the Gondor Renewed quest pack or who purchases quest packs associated with the story that are released in the future. King's Gondor awaits. Gone of the gloomy dark skies replaced with bright and sunny fields and hills, which is amazing. Good Gondor is so cool. And it was just every time I've played through it, it's always overshadowed with war because we're in my characters in the middle of the War of the Rings. So all the smoke and cloud cover and everything else, we're going to get to see a new version of those zones. So as players familiar with the original central and eastern Gondor regions will be familiar with King's Gondor from a navigational standpoint. But there are new additions and player, places players previously could not go are now open to allow for further exploration. The quest pack, Gondor Renewed, unlocks more than 80 quests and deeds for level 140 characters and includes King's Gondor East and the Song of Ways and Wind. Free for VIPs. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, go VIP. It's totally worth it in this game, by the way. Um, how do I get to King's Gondor? Go to Minas Tirith after the battle and head south through the Pelennor Fields. Exploration is now possible beyond the point where they were previously stood impassable. Um, question begins in this area of the Pelennor Fields in the under-construction version of the Harland. From there, you can explore Gondor up to Linear, where the gates are currently closed. It says currently closed, so they've obviously got something coming in the pipeline for that later on, which is really, really cool. Um, now, the landscape difficulty is something that I've not personally played around with, and I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a whole video around this system um, now that it's fully being deployed. Since we have reworked the landscape difficulty setting introduced with Treebeard and are now opening it to the general games world as an option. You can read the full details about this new landscape difficulty option in the release notes below. A new faction and new rewards are now available by playing higher difficulties. Activate your difficulty and adjust it in the future by speaking with a hardened traveler who can be found in major hubs and new player zones throughout Middle Earth. There's one outside of the Prancing Pony, 21st Hall, Stable Masters, the Archit, Post Raid, outside of the Mossward, northward outside of Kellendom, outside the door to Thorns Hall, and down the road from the Hobbit Starter Area Waypoint. These are 
There are titles available for activating a difficulty of three or higher and keeping it there from level 10 to one, level 50 and then to level 130 respectively. The title granted depends on the class you play but can be used by any character on your account. Make sure to set your landscape difficulty prior to achieving level 10 to be eligible for those titles. Uh, in order to earn these titles, you must keep the difficulty system active for the entire leveling span from level 10 through 50 or 130. Entering areas of the game world will be Entering areas of the game world where it is temporarily suppressed will not invalidate your title attempt, however, however turning it off via the hardened traveler well. So for those of you who haven't tried the landscape difficulty, it's no joke. I've I've not actually personally dove into it that much, but I've talked to a lot of people who are really dabbling around with it, and it's for those people who just want an extra challenge rating to Lord of the Rings on Because if you play it on normal mode like I do, it's kind of a cakewalk. I've talked about this in the past. Like These days, the game is very much a single-player RPG. You don't need a group with other people unless you're doing end-game activities, which is fine for the average person who wants to, you know... Um, explore everything you know slowly and safely and just indulge themselves in middle earth so for those of you who want a challenge that is available again i'm going to be doing uh more on that i'll have a video talking about that later so stay tuned for that more delvings are now available in glingot hot valendil and the great barrows for samrog fedor in the maze these have all been converted to be playable as delvings um, we have some class updates, which I'm not going to read through entirely because those change, you know, and there's also always lots of updates. Unless there's something that applies to me, I'm currently playing a lot on my um, on my Hunter. I don't see anything here for the Hunter. Lore Master, Clever Escape is now a fast skill. Hey everyone, Ren Fail here with the uh, commercial part of the video where I say, hey, if you like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. And thanks to all of our supporters are here on YouTube and over on Patreon, our highest members, our guild champions, crazy relative Remy D here on YouTube. And don't forget if you want to support, it's really easy. You can do the memberships below, the Adventurers Guild, three different tiers. There's also the super thanks on any uploaded video or YouTube short that you find. There's also, of course, the super chats and stickers that you could do on any live stream or premiere, and the Patreon page if you want to dive into the fantasy world that I have with my brother and my wife, which is a tabletop game, a point and click adventure game, and a fantasy book series. All are great ways to keep this channel going and me going full time. Thanks again for those of you who support. Let's get back to the video that you're watching now. Okay. Um. I'm not playing any other ones right now. Crafting ingredients, Tuft of Torimus Fur, Great Hori Oryx Hide, and Speckled Self Urban can now all be stored in crafting carryalls. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Items and rewards. Ooh, says mini medium. Oh, this is amazing. So I remember this being annoying when I saw it crop up. Mini medium might based armor pieces obtained from quests from levels 1 to 75 have been updated from medium to heavy armor. I always looked at those medium pieces going, why are you giving me might on medium armor? Like none of the medium armor classes want might as a skill. <laughs> really cool. Okay. Landscape difficulty. We have we worked the difficulty system, originally introduced to Treebeard, and made it available as an option to the general game worlds. So Treebeard was the server. Um, we've added a new faction and reward structure called the Paths of Valor. You can activate your difficulty setting by speaking with a hardened traveler. Upon accepting and completing one of the quests, your challenges will increase substantially. The difficulty subject turns itself off in group instances, 3 plus. In the Atmores or any time the delving system is activated, there are different titles. One playing at the fearless of level, enemies of your own level. So we're going to probably take a look at that the next time I log in, but we're not going to actively do it until I'm ready to record an episode around it. The difficulty settings and effects are pretty much the same as they were on Treebeard, though we've changed the names a bit. The Hardened Travel has a menu of barter rewards. Okay, plus emotes. Ooh. Court of Celeborn now has a map. Floating objects in the Allegiance Halls and Mortar have been grounded. Incorrect textures of ministers have been resolved. I'm trying to see if there's anything. I don't care about PvP, so that's not going to really matter to me. I'm not doing a lot of missions and delvings right now, so that's not going to bother me. Um, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, 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 okay. 
All right, sweet. So I think for me, one of the things that I'm most excited about here is the new story. Um, the landscape difficulty is cool and all, and I'll definitely be testing it out. But this new story sounds amazing. I really want to hurry up and get one of my. I just need to focus and stop getting sidetracked with all the alts and everything else and just get my lore master to the cap so that I can actually play through some of this new content and get it out for you here on the channel. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. As always, stick around for more videos, and hopefully I'll see you in a live stream here in Middle Earth. Until next time, everybody. Stay safe and happy gaming and update 36 for Lord of the Rings Online.